100% queer. They're all gay, but say their friends give gays a bad name. So how do you want him to act? I don't think that he, he acts like, you know, gay people should represent themselves. Don't carry on that way. Should they go back in the closet? He's content and happy with who he is. What's it to you? Thank you. Have a nice day. He says you're a disgrace to gays. Should they act that way? What would you define as proper gay behavior? with their gay friends. They say that their gay friends embarrass them by acting effeminate and queenie, and by dressing up in drag or by sleeping around too much. But there's a hitch. These upset friends are also gay, and they are here to say, I'm gay and you're gay. But you give gays a bad name. give other gay people a bad name by the way they act. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce our celebrity panel. Danny McWilliams, Bob Smith, and Jaffe Cohen. They are all, thank you, <laughs> they are all openly gay stand-up comics, better known as funny gay males and authors of the new book, Growing Up Gay. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> We'll be talking to you guys throughout the show, and hopefully you can shed some light on what is going on in some of these stories. Speaking of stories, please meet Stacy. Stacy says his cousin Timmy hits on straight men and acts too flamboyant. Stacy says this type of behavior not only gives other gays a bad name, it's downright embarrassing to him. Tell me about it. Well, like today, we came, we were getting on in the limousine. He was hitting on a limousine driver. So you need somebody? What's up? What's your name? Can I have your address? I'm like, Timmy, what's up, man? He goes, you, you wait, you wait, wait, wait. I said, Timmy, come on. It's time for us to go to the show. Um, I get this address. I said, Timmy, look, man, chill out. This guy, he did a flip on the sidewalk for this guy. Then when I didn't say, and this little guy was standing over the light. He was standing there with he goes, What's your name? What's your address? I said, Timmy, man, come on. I said, I'm going to kill you up here because this is my first time being in New York. I mean, I'm like, chill it, man. It's scared. It scares me. And they always compare me and Timmy. We stay in a small town, and they're always comparing us. When they call me Timmy, I always stop it. I'm not Timmy. My name's Stacy. Chill, you know. And then Timmy go, well, you know, we went to college, both of us. And he's, he's younger than I am. But he's always, I know more school than you. He's always, I can do this, I can do this better than you. He's very flamboyant. So how do and you want him to act? Like, oh, okay, look. I wear my hair like this. You can wear your hair anywhere. You can wear anything. You, you don't have to, oh, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, God, I'm coming, child. You know, it don't take all that, you know? It don't take all that to be gay, you know? So, wait, so, wait, wait, okay. You know what I'm saying? It don't take all that, you know? I be me, you know, I be me. It don't, so Stacey, it don't take all that. Stacey, you're saying that he doesn't have to work so no, hard. No, he, he want attention. He, um, they're always compete, me and him always competing and dancing and stuff. Like, we go to dance club, he get in the middle of the floor with a chair, a bench, and... Smoke a cigarette, laying on the floor, boom, whatever. But, besides if, but that if he's, he's content and happy with who he is, yes, what's it to fine. you? That's fine, besides that point. If we're going somewhere, he can go by himself. I mean, I mean, I ain't, I ain't no tag along. All right, well, he let's meet Timmy and see what you're talking about, shall we? Timmy, come on out here. <laughs> It's natural, Ricky. It's natural. So what do you have to say about what your cousin says about you? He's just jealous because I got flavor. <laughs> no, he just got slain. That's what it is. Okay. No. The, the, well, it's with Timmy. Timmy like to compete. 
That's his problem. He want attention. He have attention to be that. Like he scares Stacey, people. Stacy, are you jealous? No, I don't think so. I'm old and he is. I'm 37 years old and I look younger than he do. He have to get another time, baby. All right now. I don't think Stacey so. Stacy is just jealous. I don't think so. He's just Ken. jealous. But what do you think because when he says he says that you give gays a bad name? He scares people. It's like this, Ricky. Okay. A cat is a cat because he can meow. I'm gay, so I can have mine. Oh, oh, sometimes you're like you're straight too. So what's up with that? <laughs> They're just baffled. Or you should do it at the right time, not at the wrong place. Yeah, I mean, what about you know? Uh, I don't, don't want to say harassing, act, act. but pulling, you know, picking up these people um, here in New York City on the street in the way that you are, <laughs> you don't have a problem with it. I mean, no, are you, no, not at all. No, not huh? at all. Stacey's just, he's, he's just said that there are straight men in this world. I'm sorry, they're just confused. They need me to take the hinges off the door. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ricky, I told him the way he was, I told him the way he was acting in New York. If they shot him, I told him they could roll his body up here while I talk. They wouldn't shoot me. They would just tie me up mm, and take me home. You got the right <laughs> You're the right. Yeah, they would tie you to the back end of a car and drag you down the street. Yes, ma'am. I think Timmy just wanted attention. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. No. Yeah, thank no. you. I mean, no. are you... Last night, last night, we were walking up and down the street. Guys were just whistling at me naturally. I wasn't working at it. They was dark, too, Timmy. The lights weren't shining. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't see you. Timmy, oh, thank you. Timmy. I'll let you have my ring yeah. to shave your mustache did, and beard off. Did you really hit on our limo driver? Oh, yes. <laughs> The driver didn't resist. He like did. I said, there are no straight resist. men in this world. No, just everybody resists it all. You scared the hell out of the other guy today, okay? Oh, no, I know something right. like this. <laughs> what the hell am I going to do? I mean, I think, I think you're adorable. I mean, I, 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 I would love to see you I on the street, but you know, but... it is, there are homophobic people in this country, unfortunately, well, and it is somewhat dangerous to, to come on to straight men. They might not take it, it. Like, as I mean, well as our limo driver. First, what I do when I meet people, first I want you to get comfortable with who I am. And then I bring my sexuality up. I overly comfortable. Okay. I mean, if I feel that if you're comfortable with whom I am, then you can accept my sexuality. All right. Yes, ma'am. I personally feel Timmy just has personality. As long as you know how to keep it under control, you'll be all right. Hey. Let's Thank ask you. our experts. You said as long as you keep it under control. I what do you think of Timmy yet. and his behavior? Well, I think neither one of them are shrinking violets. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think they're both great. I think one bad fruit doesn't spoil the whole bunch. And um, fine, go ahead. I agree. He's got yeah. personality. It's great. More some power to him? Yeah, More power to him. Some people will find it funny. Some people are like you. You're, like, you're adorable and cute. You can do that to some people and they'll go like, oh, you're really great. I like you. Because he's got chutzpah. He's got the, the nerve to do that. So yeah. Yeah. I take my hat off to you. And yeah. I take my hat off to you as well. Yeah. <laughs> I hang my wig on a wig and look cloth for me. But be careful. <laughs> but. But you have to be careful. You must be careful. You gotta yeah. be careful. This you is must New York. This is yeah. New York. You, you know what? Maybe, York. maybe Tim can be the you. Timmy can be the fourth funny gay guy. Yeah, come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's off. Yeah, because you know we drive limousines. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I would like to ask him. What do you do after somebody says no to you? After a man says no to me? Yes. I've never faced that before. No. <laughs> Five minutes, dude. Where's the camera? Not for nothing. No. Strictly quickly. Excuse me. No. It's daytime, baby. It's daytime. It's daytime. That's all. When the lights out, your mind changes. Stacy, are you embarrassed? By what he's doing Wait, here? See, the way I feel, I'm saying, I don't care what you do or what you wear. You know, somebody I want to talk to you, they'll approach you. You don't approach people. I mean, that's, I'm. What I about the have, people that no, you want to talk no, to? Let me talk. I'm talking right now. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. It's not your no, cake and I apple juice. I'm going to on you, too. Okay. Okay. No, okay. Don't rub my face. Okay. Have a nice day. I have no cussing on me or beat ups that other people have because of the way they are. I let people come to me. 
You want to talk to me? You come to talk to so me. So you're saying that he's coming off desperate. No, see, you, if he's you hitting on everyone, he's face. just desperate. I mean, because that's embarrassing to anybody. I mean, you can wear a 15 pair of high heels, 20 wigs. I don't give a fly. I'm a people's pile. person. I like mm. meeting no, people. No, you're a chemist person. And let me, I know plenty of straight people who hit on people just like they he come, is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm a people's people. person. If I see someone, see, I want to meet up. them. I say hi. You how need to my heels. I'm thirsty. All right, so bottom line, Timmy, you're not going to change your behavior for your cousin. No. He'll get over it. He'll just be, he just be buried before I will be. All right. When we return, we'll meet a guy who says his gay friend's behavior almost got them killed. We'll meet them next. talking with gay people who say they hate how their gay friends act. Please meet Rick. Rick says he can't stand how his neighbor Reed acts. Rick says Reed is too flamboyant and too promiscuous, and he feels that that type of behavior is not only embarrassing, it is dangerous. Tell me, how does your friend act? Okay, the deal with the almost getting killed, we were driving down the road, my car had broken, and he was taking me to pay a bill of mine, and he comes up, I live in a really redneck town, really redneck, and you just don't carry yourself the way he's done. This guy pulls up beside of us. I mean, Reed looks over. You go, Reed. Doing stuff like that, and this guy reaches under his seat to get a gun, you know, and we're sitting there at a red light stop. If we wouldn't have flipped a, bit, flipped a turn really quick, something would have happened. And I tell him, man, don't carry on that way. There's a time and a place that you can do that. We're at Annabelle's having dinner, you know, a family restaurant. Oh, how is Annabelle? Wonderful, girl, wonderful. And, I mean, I'll be the first one to tell you, I can be a big old sissy, too. But not in those places. You're in a public restaurant. He comes in in full drag. Big old red wig, honey. Big old cheeks. Big old ass, honey, just coming. Here's I am over at the table. Right here comes Reed. Girl, honey, how are you? In the restaurant, and you don't do that, you will get killed. And he don't only endanger himself, but me. Also. Maybe he's comfortable with who he is and his sexuality. Is yeah, it? he's comfortable with that, and I don't have no problem. But there's places that you can carry on that extreme. Not out in public, not in a town not like where New we're York. from. No, he was in drag last it? night. He got in drag last night, walked the streets in New York. Oh, stop traffic, deep. stop traffic. People turn their heads, looking. I said, oh. God, I just, I just knew it. He'll go down the road, you know, if he'll see somebody, a man, a straight man, he'll be in drag and go try to kick you, the straight if man If what up. you're saying is true, if you really are putting yourself in danger yes. with him, why are you hanging out with him? He hangs out with me, you know, we go out together, but I, I'm scared for him, I'm worried about him, you know. He'll go pick up a man, a straight man. When he gets in drag, he really looks like a woman. I mean, he looks like a woman. Well, let's meet him and talk to him. Reed, come on out here. <laughs> Reed, what do you have to say? We didn't about get killed. <laughs> Ain't we pulled up beside this man, he was adorable. So I went, and he didn't like it too much. Mm -hmm. At all. And, did and he, he started to go, like he bent down, uh -huh. and he assumed he was gonna get a gun. And I just what took would you off. <laughs> he could have been getting a can to rob you his name and number. That's right. Thank you. But no. were you scared for your life? <laughs> no. 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 I mean, is what he's saying true? I mean, are you really just just coming on to all these straight men and acting too promiscuous and... I have, yeah. <laughs> Very much, yeah. But you don't have a problem with it? No. But what do you think about your friend having a problem with it? I don't see why he has a problem with it. I don't say anything about how he acts. I mean, there's times when he acts really snotty. I mean, he just... He thinks he's better than everybody. No. Yes, no, please. Not, but he not. brought you here today because he's worried about you. Well, I understand him being worried. I really do. But I can take care of myself just like he can take care of himself. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, um, my question is for um, what's Tracy, Stacy. Yeah. What's the age difference between y'all? I'm where only he is. Okay, that's, that's where it's at. See, you've been in life longer, and you know how to carry yourself. I don't yourself. think you go reach it, though. He, did that go? Because he's, he's running wild with it. <laughs> so you think he's putting himself in danger, too? Yeah. Well, well where we live at, you know, uh, Tim Hill said, well, he might be joking, but he'd be talking to me and say, well, yeah, well, I had your man. And, oh, hold it, oh, hold it. And the girls be going, hey. and, but the women go back and tell the guys, and the guy, you know, everybody takes us a joke, but the guys be like, well, I'm gonna see, you know, they, they'll go approach him. 
And that's not But that's Ricky, not cool. Ricky. That's not hell. Seventy five percent of the time I have had him. Oh, that's nice, you know. <laughs> you know? Thank that's you. Read. Time I have. Reed, are you really deceiving men in drag and pretending you're a woman? Yeah. I have, yes. I have. Yeah, so that could cause major controversy. Major controversy. Yeah, I mean, what has happened when they've, these men have found out that you're not a woman? I mean, to break a whole pack. They knew. They knew that I wasn't. I mean, it's not like I look like a woman. I mean, I look like a woman, but... Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. You had saw the last night. She yes, ma'am. Yeah, I just I saw would like to know, night. do you guys ever worry about AIDS? Do you practice safe sex? I mean... Always. Yes. Always. I gave her that. I gave her three the other day. No, girl. I should have gave her red. Danny, what do you think about him? I'm just interested the people that you pick up who realize you're a man in a woman's head, they still go home with you. They go home with you. They have. I have, I have a lover for nine years. This has been a while back when I've done this. It well, hasn't kinda, been recent. I kind of feel if they haven't murdered you, God forbid. <laughs> I guess doing anything else you do, God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, guys know it. I mean, you're in drag, yes. and, and halfway through dinner, guys, you have something. You have to, to know something. it. You have I mean, to know yeah, it. Yeah, but when this okay. man, no, wait, no. wait, 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 when this man reaches over, he sees a big, red-headed, beautiful woman, and he feels between her legs and feels the same thing he's got, he ain't gonna be a happy camper. He is not gonna be a happy camper. <laughs> he's gonna black out. Only if I let him go between my legs. Oh! Rick, I don't know, I don't understand why you're so concerned with what he does. Could it be that you're not as comfortable with he's your jealous. sexuality? No, I'm can't scared do for him, you know. He's my friend, I care for him. Mm. It bothers me certain things he does, but you know, I don't want to have to wake up tomorrow and watch the news and find out, you know, Reed was killed in Hickory, you know, for this reason, that reason, whether it be in drag or as a boy. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's one thing to be comfortable with who you are, but why y'all have to be so exaggerated? Like, what's all the drama for? I'm not you know exaggerating. This, this is me. Natural. This, this is, is me. natural. I don't work at this. I don't work at it. Yes, sir. I, I'd like to know how you guys earn a living. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm a choreographer, dance professor. I'm a female impersonator. Mila health assistant. A supervisor. A supervisor. All right, Jaffe, do you have anything you want to say? Um, yeah, I just think it's a shame that we live in a world where that kind of flirting could get you killed. And, uh, exactly. I, th I just think it's a shame that the world still has people that would get so bent out of shape by that. I mean, it could be a little annoying, but, but that type no. of flirting could uh, engender a lot of anger on the part of certain types of straight men, so you have to be really careful. And I think it's a shame that the world still has people like that in it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. It I mean, is usually, usually when I meet guys, you get a vibe. There's a vibe there. Mm -hmm. And like, for instance, my, my ex-lover, we were at the airport. And um, I, I went to pick my roommate when I was in college. And we were standing around the, the, the baggage claim belt, conveyor belt. And you saw some guy from across the conveyor belt and... I walked over to him and I felt his gentle to him. We were in a relationship for three years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> When we return, we'll meet a guy who says his friend uses their gay youth group as a ploy to hit on other teenagers. Can't wait. Don't go away. how their gay friends act. Please meet Brian. Brian says he met his friend Eric in a youth group for young lesbians and gays and has since realized that Eric's behavior is not representative of the way a gay male should behave. Tell me, how does he behave? Well, when we go to um, a youth group meeting or whatever, he'll hit on anything, any guy that's there and sometimes there's this one girl that he likes too. And um, whatever, any guy that's around, he will either hit on them or say he either has a nice but a nice package or a nice body. And you think he's a disgrace to gays? Yes. Why? I don't think I don't think that he he acts like, you know, gay people should represent themselves. I mean, you shouldn't But what about straight people? I mean, straight there are straight people that, you know, catcall women on the street, nice boobs, lady, you know? I mean, what is that Does that mean I should say, "Wait a minute, you're giving straight people a bad name?" Yes. Because I don't think that's right either. I don't think anybody should sit there and say that you know, unless they're going to do it in a, a really nice way and they actually know the person before they do it. I don't think it's right that you sit there and just say, hey man, you got a nice butt. 
you know, or something like that. I just don't think that's right. I mean, you're right. That's rude. That's rude behavior, but it's rude no matter if you're gay or straight. Mm -hmm. But I think that gives gays a bad name more so because you don't really hear about, you know, straight people doing that as much as you do gay people. There is something to be said for you. I mean, you came out at the age of 17, and it's amazing that, you know, so many young people aren't able to be who they are at that age. And it's terrific that you were able to do that. Actually, it was 16. You were 16? Yes. All right, well, good for you. Are we ready to meet Eric and talk to him? Eric, come on out here. For one, honey, I am 100% queer. Two, I do not do. Oh, what's this about? I heard, I heard that you had a crush on. Oh, please. Eric, are, he says you're a disgrace to gays. I, there are so many gay people that act this way that it's unbelievable. And there are more people that do not act like you. Okay, I know, I know that I do not act like that. I do not go out anywhere and act like he does. I'm sorry, it just doesn't work that way. Thank you. One, I came out when I was 14 and a half. I have been out since I was 14 and a half. I am going on 21 now. You're 21, but what are you hanging out at this youth group, this teenage youth group? I have not hit on anyone. I knew them people. Oh. I was going to the meeting before he even showed up. Yeah, that may be true, but how was it that you told me you liked me and that you hit on me? Was it a phone call? Oh, he calls me up one day. Hi, Brian, how are you? Fine. Um, well, I kind of have a crush on this one little boy. Oh, really? Who? Oh, it's this little chubby boy that I know. He's really cute. Oh, who would that be? You! Oh, duh! I'm sorry, but that isn't the way you do it. And you're, you're not at all interested in him. No. Not only that. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. No. This is a, a question for Stacy. Stacy, you have to realize what goes for you may not go for him, and eventually he will need his match. Thank God. Eric, you say you say that there are all types of gay people, and that they all should it's be accepted. It's the same accepted. thing as heterosexual people. There is different kinds of people. Different people dress different ways. They look different ways. They act different ways. And we should all be accepted. Yeah, who we as, are. as who we are. Yeah. There's only one race, and that's the human race. So what does it matter? Yes, ma'am. I just think it's a matter of respect. You have to respect everybody. I mean, right now, he wants to be respected for who he is, right? And you have to give him that respect. Yeah. Brian, can you ever respect Eric? I can respect him. I do like him as a friend. I just don't think the way he, the way he acts out in public is, is necessarily right. All right, yes. I would like to know, how did they know that they were gay? How do, how do you know you gay? <laughs> yeah, what made them gay? Are you still Can questioning your own that? sexuality, no. ma'am? Can I answer that? <laughs> I have that answer. <laughs> I was born that way. You know from, you know from this age. Mm -hmm. It's not a light known. switch issue. It's not a light switch it that comes but when off. Do you, when do you figure out that you're different from, from heterosexuals? I knew at the age of five that I was gay. I mean, I've always known. You, you always have the you feeling feel that it. you're different. I mean, when you see other little you're boys different. and you look at them like, whoa. Oh, <laughs> you play with Barbie dolls till you're 13, yeah. what does that say? You know? But when do, you, when do you know that some whoa, other boys whoa. aren't looking at other boys? The same reason, the same time you knew that, you know, yourself that you're a straight woman, you didn't look at a woman and say, ooh. You looked at a man and said, ooh. So that's but, the same with us. We, you know, you know in your soul, in your right. heart. Yes. Ricky, I don't know if they're into interracial relationships, but I believe Timmy, that's his name? Yes. And that one right there? Reed. Reed. I think they'd be a bomb together. <laughs> so they, I think they would be the bomb together. Because they'd be like, like they'd make a hell of a couple. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Matchmaker. Any plans on going out after the show? No, that wouldn't work. She, I'm, <laughs> we're not eating. <laughs> we're not lesbians. Thank you. Y'all gonna blow off on me. Yes. Uh, Brian, what would you define as proper gay behavior? Pardon me? <laughs> what do you define as proper gay behavior? Well, I don't think, first of all, that they should go out and flaunt themselves that they're all that a little bit more and then some. I think that they should be human just like everybody else. And I don't think, you know, I mean, being feminine is one thing, but 
acting so feminine that you're almost a girl, you know, except for the parts, is another thing. All right, Bob. I, I just want to say that, you know, you're asking for acceptance for gays, and I think that is a good issue, but you also have to respect women, and you've all come made some really sexist remarks about women. And I don't like it. Thank you very, very much, Bob, That's for true. speaking Thank up you. for the female in the audience. All right, when we return, a woman confronts her lover and tells her that she's sick of her dressing and acting like a man. We'll be right back after this. people who feel their friends give other gays a bad name. Please meet Tanya. Tanya says her lover Nikki dresses and acts like a guy. Tanya is here today because she wants her lover to be more like the woman that she really is. Tell me, what don't you like about the way she's dressing? The way she dresses, she wears clothes that's too big for her. I mean, she's got a pretty face. I mean, she got a feminine face if she dresses it. She wears, she got short hair, which, you know, a lot of women wear short hair now which should make a difference, but her clothes are too big, and when people see it, they say, who's this guy, who's your boyfriend? It's not a guy, it's a girl, you know? But did she dress like this when you met her? When I met her, she had on jogging pants and a hat, which really don't make a difference, but when we go out and people call her a guy, she doesn't like it, and then she gets upset, and then she's like, really mean, you know, upset about it, and I'm like, well, if you don't want to call you a guy, then dress like a girl. Be more feminine. That's the so, only thing. Is this a problem with your relationship? Not to a point. I mean, it's okay, but when she goes out and she gets upset with my family, if they call her a guy, mistaking her for a guy, then I think there is a problem. I mean, with her, if she don't want nobody to call her a guy, I think she should dress like a girl. But, so I mean, a lot of women these days dress like well, guys. Well, you're right. I mean, but she gets upset about it. Most of them are happy the way they dress. So but if she, she didn't have a problem with it, you wouldn't <clears throat> have a problem with it. Right. If right. she didn't get so upset when they call her guy, they wouldn't have a problem. All right, well, let's meet Nikki and see how she's dressed today. Nikki, come on out here. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Nice to see you. So, what do you have to say? Nah, I just want to tell her, you know, either, you know, she's going to accept me for what I am or not, you know, because if not, she can be dismissed, because I can go get my groove on somewhere else. <laughs> Oh boy. But wait a minute. What about what about people mistaking you for a guy? I mean, that that doesn't bother you? No, I mean I, I've been dressed this way ever since I was a kid. You know, I mean I grew up. I had two brothers. I mean I played basketball. You know, stuff like that. I mean this is like natural for me. But she's saying that you have a problem with it. Yeah, I mean I, I do get offended. You know, I do. But you know, but like it, it doesn't matter to me. It, it doesn't even matter because I'm myself. Yeah. Tanya, is Nikki a flirt? Oh yeah. Oh yes. We could be in the car, Jeremiah. She see the pretty little young girl talking by. She yell out the window. They don't know if she's a he or she, and they'll look back. And if they driving by and they see us out there, and she yells something to them, if they drive by, they'll turn back around and come back through. Yes. Are are you guys together? Yes. I'm not, you guys are a couple. Yes. So why are you concerned? You knew this before. Yeah. You were Thank with you. Her. Yes. Now you want to come out and be concerned. Yeah. I'm concerned. I've been concerned because it's like when we go out, she make it a problem. When someone say, oh, what's up, man? Who's your boyfriend? And she looks at me like, what do you mean? What's your boyfriend? I'm a girl. I mean, she gets upset with it when they call her guy. What about your, you, have a, you have a child. What yes. does your child call Nikki? Daddy. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> go on. Go on. Yeah. No, she doesn't. Who she taught doesn't. your no, kid that? No, no, she calls me mommy, daddy. Yeah, well, mommy, mommy daddy. daddy. Still is daddy. <laughs> That's That's it. Yes. If if you guys don't like the the way they act, then why do you hang out with yeah. them? Uh, All of you. I try not to. You I try not to. Yes, I usually don't hang out with him. In fact, I think if you'd ask him, you'd find that he will say that I more times than not when we're out together, I edge away from him because usually when I am with him, I'm in a big group with other people. But there's other people we hang around with that they act exactly the same way and they act even worse than I do. Who? I don't hang out with honey. I keep away from I hate him. Sorry. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I wanted to know, do any of these men have sex with women? No. No. Been uh, there, no. had it. No. Yeah. Been there, done that. No. Okay. 
No, no nasty remarks about females no. now. No. All right. Come on over no. here, ma'am. Yes. I'm just going down the line. To this first one, what's his name? Stacy. Aren't you paying attention, Stacy? Yeah, I'm paying attention, but they just getting so busy. This is Stacy and this Timmy. Not Timmy, the other one. Rick. Next, okay, Stacy and Stacy and Rick. If y'all they friends, y'all should just be with them and try to guide them a little bit. Don't tell them what to I do because they ain't no, with that. I'm, I'm talking Stacy. <laughs> oh, oh, girl. It's, you know oh. they. they <laughs> You and Reed, I'm with y'all. I'm right. saying go on and flaunt yourself, baby. Just be careful what you're doing. Because what you're doing ain't no different than go what ahead, a woman go. may do when she put on her little go skirt ahead. and her makeup and run out to the nightclubs, okay? okay? okay. Wait, is that what you do? No, I don't wear that, honey. I'm married and I wear it just like this when I go to the nightclub because my husband will be right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Damn. Don't you be... Will you stop? Chill. I hear you. <laughs> Don't mind them. Don't mind them. Yes. We've been talking how straight people can give straight people a bad name and gay people give gay people a bad name. It's that what, unfortunately, since homosexuality is less accepted than heterosexuality, <coughs> Your actions are more closely scrutinized and magnified, and it's just giving these guys a little extra baggage that they really don't need. Timmy, do you have any response? No. No. I do. Name and number? Do. Okay, yes, ma'am. I want to know why you guys have nothing better to do than worry about your friends. Why do you just look at yourselves? Oh, we have a good time together. Oh, we party, party together. together. We have a good time. Yeah. We're I just worry slower. that something's gonna We're happen. We're gonna dance slower. He dance. I need to. I need to dance over here so he can have enough room to dance. So I can lay. <laughs> lay <laughs> Music. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. Win you a date with him up there. <laughs> I've already got his number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Jeffy, you guys want to say anything? I think I think the audience is great. I think the audience is really yes. great. Yeah. Well, you think you think that they're being really accepting? Yeah, yeah. The, the, I think the audience is very accepting and very smart. And I think Nikki looks great. She looks just like a guy. I'm attracted to her. And uh, <laughs> and uh, no, it's just, it's just a real thrill to be here and see such a smart, accepting audience. I think the guys are great here. That's great. I hope the home audience can be just as accepting. I hope so too, yeah. When we return, we'll hear more from the funny gay males and our fabulous studio audience. Don't go away. Welcome back. Today we're talking with gay people who don't like how others gays act. Let me talk to the funny gay guys. How you doing, guys? Okay. Oh, wow. When did you all first know that you were gay? Well, I think I knew very young. I, you know, back in high school, I definitely knew. I was, back then, I think I was more of a queen back then. Uh, I needed an elective in high school. I took shop. I thought they would teach me how to shop. I mean, this was, <laughs> that's, you know, that's what I thought back then. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't play baseball. Uh, they said cover right field. I went out, I bought linoleum, you know. You know so, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Boo! When, and how, when and how did you tell your parents? 
I told, I, I told my parents when I was 17 years old because uh, I wanted to get a little help at that time, and I needed a, I wanted, I wanted to see a therapist at that point. So I told my parents, and they were actually very accepting, very accepting. You're very lucky, thankful. Bob. What about you? I'm just telling them now, Mom and Dad, I'm gay. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I can My parents have known for a long time, and you know, you, it's important to come out to your family. Did it bother them that they'd never have grandkids? Well, I have two brothers and a sister, you know. Okay. There's plenty right. of possibilities. And Thank Danny, you. what about you? What is the biggest misconception about gays? About gay people? I always thought it was because they sleep around a lot, but I think people sleep around a lot in generally. And no, I, true. well, some straight, some gay, whatever. I think a big misconception is that they influence children, which I don't think is true at all. Children are basically influenced by what you tell them. Children are very accepting of a lot of things if you let them know that it's fine. I think. Okay. Thanks. This yeah. question for Tanya. I want to know when did you first come out the closet? How uh, old were you? About, I think I was 19, 19 or 20. And do you tell, do you tell your child? She knows. She knows because she's like, How she's old is five. your daughter? She's five years old. Yeah, she knows. All right. Yes. I would just like to say to, to you, you, and you. Which you? I. I think his name is Timmy Reed and this one. Eric. Now see the way y'all act, like that flamboyant stuff, see that, that, that's imposing it on somebody else. And when you blew that kiss at that man, I'm surprised he didn't blow your face off. I'm telling you, I'm surprised he didn't blow your face off. So wait a minute, wait. Last night. You don't impose your views or how you Oh, so you're saying he deserves to be, to be shot? I'm just saying, it could have happened. If it would have happened, I wouldn't have been surprised. But it didn't. That's all I did was chase us. I wouldn't I mean, I'm just saying. That's you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't no. impose how you, you didn't know if he was... Gay. What about you? Okay, ma'am, let's talk about you, all right? Do you, you like guys? You don't like... I'm okay, so what if, what if you... Yeah, okay. What if you hit on some guy who has a girlfriend and the girlfriend's sitting right next to you? Does that mean because you hit on him, you imposed your opinion? Yeah, you, you got a girlfriend, he approached me, that's something different. That's but I ain't gonna right. approach no man Thank that you. I don't know what he all about or none of that. Thank Cause this, New York ain't safe enough for that. Thank First you. First of all, I don't do that. <laughs> no. You shouldn't have did that. That's no, all I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. Ricky, Ricky, uh, Ricky, uh, I disagree. Uh, it's like when you shop, if you see a sweater that you want, you go and get it. Exactly. That's yeah, no, ma'am, we like don't hear, we don't hear you, ma'am. Yes. Um, for each his own, you know. Thank you. It's not you. what you do, it's how you do it. Because New York you. is crazy. You will definitely get hurt, you know. Just come You're saying just be careful. Careful. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, sir. I just wanted to say they're not, you know, they're not doing anything to anybody by the way they're acting. As long as, you know, they, that's just the way they act. So if, if, if one of those guys hit on you, you wouldn't be offended? No, but I mean, it's not like I, it's my if, choice if I do it or if not, but as long as, you know, they're not hurting things? me by hitting on me. Right. I yeah. wish everybody felt the way you do, sir. Yes. You said he gets mad at him because he tells guys he's got a nice butt or a nice package. I mean, I'm straight, but if he told me I got a nice package, he'd get my attention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the three flamboyant ones, basically, when you find someone that you really care about, are you going to be able to lose like the attitude of "I'm so good and I'm so wonderful" and finally not hurt those people? I mean, I have someone. I've been with someone um, for nine years. And you still play around like that? And no, I don't play around that? now. I did. I mean, I've been with. What about Timmy? Nine years. Especially well, Timmy. I'm, I'm extremely young. I've got a lot of wild oaks to sell. He's not extremely young. <laughs> <laughs> He's 26 years old. He should straight know when he was 26. But are you willing to tone it down when you find that Mr. Well, right? I just got over a commitment, a long relationship. Oh, yeah, was, the guy at the airport. I yeah, know. Yeah, and I was like yeah. this then. And, and, and I was like this when I met if him, someone, so I didn't change. If someone loves you, they're not going to ask you to change. They're going to take yeah. you the way you are. Right. You know? Yes. For the flamboyant ones, I'm just wondering, do you act that way to be flirtatious or to broadcast the it's fact that you're gay? It's, so. it's just me. me. It's That's not an me. Act. It's, it's always me. expressing what, who we are inside. All right. Need to take a break? Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Today we have been talking to gay people and their friends who say they give gays a bad name. If someone is happy with who they are, they should not change for anyone. We should accept people for who they are, not what they are. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.